got all hands on deck. I think we got seven people coming out to work on this project and we are getting the roof on by the end of the day. Giving all you want souls We're raising up a new world Where everyone is sacred Every life accounted for Grow your garden, find your tribe Let your hearts burn inside Move your body towards the light Hello everybody, this is Richard here coming to you from the Terraform Homestead. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are an environmental sustainability nonprofit that teaches natural earth building out here in the Sonoran Desert. Today's episode, we're continuing our series of the Root Cellar Build. This Root Cellar is an underground building for us to store food, uh, basically a temperature controlled pantry that doesn't require electricity to keep things cool in the summer and warm in the winter. In this episode, we get our roof on, which is very exciting because that makes it a usable space. Be sure to subscribe if you're at all interested in natural building, sustainability, earth building, um, or just living a simpler, happier life. Being sharing these videos goes a long way to helping our nonprofit and gets the information out to more people because we could all live in a more sustainable world. Um, everybody knows that. And so we're doing our best to provide that information. Started this project in April, um, I think, maybe March. Um, right after COVID hit and all that, so it's been our COVID project for sure. Shut it down for the summer because it was just too hot and miserable to work on. Picked it up in September. I'm super grateful to all of our workwares that come out and help and just kill it every single day. Um, yeah, and so, so, so close to getting the roof on. We've got our first rafters. They're basically scrap metal. Um, so we got eight 20 foot pieces for 200 bucks, which is super exciting. Um, today's projects, I'm cutting the door. We're getting that door installed, getting that ready for the next course. Um, we've got Katie and Amy over here sealing our um, wood for the roof. So that's our roof sheeting. Nick is over there cutting down our metal, so we'll get electricity in here today, get the kegerator down in there today. Um, we got some cool stuff. This will be our exterior door. This is actually a door from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, it was an old high school gym locker and our work aware that uh, <laughs> cut it down. Uh, it was actually really funny. He was saying that he smelled a lot of sawdust in his life, but for some reason this smelled like residual 30 years worth of pee. <laughs> so I guess it is soaked into the fibers of the wood, which was really funny and I'm glad I didn't have to do it. Um, but so we got this all framed out. Um, we got to swap this around a little bit and get a new lock for it because right now it's a little bit of a dungeon situation um, once we get the roof on there um, could in theory lock somebody in and they could never come out uh, so we'll swap this around for a uh, door handle and a another lock so this is all of our roof sheeting we got all this stained and sealed today so basically on the bottom of it we put just a, a standard low voc um, polyurethane and then on the top of it, a suggestion from uh, an old homesteader out here was to use uh, used motor oil. So that's on the top of this, and basically termites hate it. It soaks into the wood, it makes it toxic to bugs, so they don't touch it, and it also helps waterproof. Everywhere I go, I'm in the land of the lost and broken heart. We got the roof sheeting on, we got it all backfilled, we got the roof rafters on, we did good. On top of this sheeting, we're going to be doing asphalt paper, so 
ignore the mess. This will all get cleaned up very soon. <laughs> um, we've got some asphalt paper, and then on top of that, all the way on the other side of the build site, um, we have some roofing metal. So all the um, metal for the studs, or rafters, roofing metal I got from a uh, scrap and salvage shop. Uh, so they sell it by the pound. Killer deal. So this is all nice sealed up waterproof. Uh, the next several days slash weeks, uh, we're gonna start taking dirt from here and piling it right on top of this um, to help better insulate it. I wanna get at least a foot on there of insulation. All right, I'm down here in the root cellar and it is a usable space, which is really cool. Ladies got a couple rows of uh, the stairs done. Um, we got the metal on the roof and then my project largely today was to get electricity down here. Um, so we've got lights, uh, we've got the kegerator working and right now I'm working on uh, getting some of my beer over here in the carboys uh, into secondary ferment fermentation. Thank you guys for watching. It is really exciting to have this roof on this root cellar. Um, we have been working so, so long to get this to be a usable space. There's still a lot of work to do. We've got about a thousand bags down and probably 400 more to go to get our tunnel, um, our entryway done, but at least we can start using it and have a temperature controlled environment for our food and produce here on the property. If you guys that are all interested in what we're doing, want to see this root cellar finished out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have another episode coming out next Monday afternoon, um, getting our final coats on and things like that. So if you're wanting to see this project finish out, subscribe. I hope you go build something cool. Everywhere I go, I'm in the land of the lost and the broken heart.